Hi everyone, this is Susie from Minnesota Zone 4 and it's about mid-June I just thought I'd show you how things are growing. I figured I'd start on this side. All my lilacs are done so I have them trimmed up. Now I'm just waiting for the hydrangeas. The other day by the nasturtiums I had a hummingbird moth. So hopefully I can try and get that on camera for you. It's a really neat bug. Definitely not afraid of people either. Oh, looks like it's got some flower heads for me. Yay! They look really good. The other day we had a really bad storm come through and there was a lot of hail with it. So I was a little worried about things. I'll do a flower container update a little bit later. This is something new that I did. Had some mulch hauled in. I edged. I was just sick of mowing this and at some point, probably next year, I'll be planting flowers here. So I just figured get it going. This is my blueberry bush. I'll be covering that with some type of netting. Hopefully these are all blueberries forming. Oh, I can't wait. So I got to get on that right away. Don't want the birds to get it this year. This is my first dahlia bed. These are the, most of these tubers were gotten from Burpee. I have one back here that didn't come up. And then there's a few in the front that I got from a big box store. I think those are the really small ones here. So you can see a difference. But I got something and then I had one that broke off a tuber, so I potted it up in here. And it's coming up, so I might just plant that back in that empty spot. And these are tubers that I had got from Brex. I get a lot of my stuff from Brex. They have great quality stuff, so does Burpee, but all my Dahlia tubers were from Brex last year. And then these, I wanna say I planted these a little over a week ago. But we also had temps in the mid-90s and humidity. And then finally we got some rain. We definitely needed it. We were so dry. I've never had the grass start turning brown in June. It was, most of the time I don't even water either. Kind of let Mother Nature take care of that. I was this year. So yeah, this is all mulched here. I like it. it makes lawn mowing so easy. My rose is starting to bloom, or is blooming. This looks great. Hopefully you can see the color of this really good. Love that. And then it kind of fades to a light peach when it gets closer to being done. Then I had made some changes. I dug up my hardy geranium. Something was infesting it. I don't know if it was a bug. The leaves were turning brown. It was wilting. It wasn't blooming. I hate getting rid of, I mean, it was still alive, but it just wasn't looking the best. So I got rid of it. I know I have some, um, you can see here, uh, where's, right there. I don't know what's doing that. And it's on my Black Eyed Susans, it's on my Bee Balm. So. I don't know, but I have my peony in there. Hardy Hibiscus. Then I decided to try Liatris. Never had it, so. It's white, so I can't wait. My mock orange. I don't see any buds forming on this yet. I'm hoping I get some this year. But as long as it stays healthy, I'm fine. Let's see here. Baptisia is just about done. And then it should start forming some kind of purple-black seed heads. It's 
gorgeous. Tiger Eye Sumac looks good. And I think with that purple foliage, that it, hopefully it keeps that purple foliage color, just depending on how much sun it's going to get, I guess. Deadheaded all of my chives. Daylily is just starting to... I had one bloom the other day. But it'll be soon. I'll keep you updated on that. Not... Like I said, not a whole lot is blooming. We had some scree weather. We had some really cold weather, hot weather, little rain. And this is the Sabaria sorbifolia. Seed heads or flower heads. Love these. And they attract the bees. They're not quite open yet. Primrose is just starting to open up. I had some damage on this too from, again, I don't know. I don't know if it was just the weather. On the hardy, ger ger excuse me, on the hardy geranium, there were some little red, more red, not spotted, beetles. And they were quick and jumpy and I squished them. I don't like to squish things if I don't know what they are, but the fact that they were on that plant and they were doing... When the plant was really doing bad, I was wondering if that was a culprit, but I don't know. I haven't seen them since. I love this primrose. It's like a beacon in the garden. It's definitely a ground cover, but it is easily controlled. Definitely not like Lily of the Valley. A lot of times I just have to pull it. I never got any clematis just because I had to cut it down. It's too bad. That's a really nice purple. Turtle heads look amazing. Look at that. The giant fleece flower is an amazing specimen plant and just stands out in the garden. I have not had, I do have a stake here, but I haven't had to stake it up. And that's saying something because we had high winds the other day. And it's still standing tall and definitely attracts the bees too. Still bees all have their flower heads. Um, T. Rex is blooming. Just kind of early. One of my Asiatic lilies. This will be getting moved next year once I figure out the deal with whether I'm going to put the pool up again or not. It was in good condition. The sand filter still worked. Kids love it, so I'm leaving it for now. Another is still being here. I think the hostas have kind of covered it up. So there's a seed head or flower head. Which I keep calling seed heads. Not yet. <laughs> the Pakota dogwood is done blooming. Now it should start forming berries. Ladies mantle. I love this. The yellow, yellow flowers are pretty, but I love the foliage the best. But I'll leave it. More lilies right now. I'm like, I'm surprised that things aren't blooming a little bit more, but we were really dry. I look at all the flower heads on this day lily. Ooh, this looks like. Ooh, there's a beetle down there. Look at that. Did you see it? I think I found the culprit. But there's another one in here, too. Oh, nasty. Alright, I'll be spraying it. So not cool. That poor little guy. I don't think he's gonna. Well, maybe. That's a little flower head. I'm not sure what type of beetle. Is that a cucumber beetle? I'm not sure. Squash beetle? I 
love the birds. Peony is done blooming. Cut off all the flower heads. Didn't want it forming seeds. I just want all the energy to go into the plant. The golden Japanese spike nard. Love the chartreuse color. Okay, not much color, but just decided to give you a little update. As things bloom, I'll give you more of an update. Hopefully the wind isn't affecting the sound quality that much. It's not that windy, but it's just hitting my wind turbine just right. Okay, so something was digging because <laughs> what would take a stake out? Seriously. Weird. And then I planted all this coleus, kind of see how it does. I've never done this before. But, let me see, I kind of ran out over here. So I'm not sure if I'm just going to end it here or if I'm going to go and get it. Just a few more. We're in four packs, so there's a sip. That is one hopping bird house. And don't want to get too close because these birds definitely let me know that I'm in their way. Just kind of giving you a view from this angle too. And again, I'll be doing an update on my pots a little bit later, or probably right after this. This way it won't get to be so lengthy. So we'll see how the coleus does. At least it'll remind me to water this garden and the hostas. Oh, don't want to forget about ore here. Comfrey is done blooming. This is an Axminster Gold. The bees absolutely love this too, so I left it. it. Didn't get quite so tall, so be trimming that back. I love that color. Goat's beard looks really good. I love that foliage too. It's just kind of a nice lacy texture amongst all these big leaved some in substance. This looks good too. I had some browning down here, so I started watering it. Like I said, I usually try to let Mother Nature water everything and hopefully it does the trick. Oh, and then I did, I'll show you that some hail damage. Right here. All in all, not too bad, so I'm not complaining. It's like if I lose a couple leaves on my summon substance, I think I have more than enough to replace it. I love this area here. It's grown in really nicely. I'm, I'm leaving this open just because I figure the guy has to get to the meter back there. He can go this way. I have a hosta planted over here, but um, I have one down there. I might have to move that one. Just kind of allowing him to get back there. Or her. I think I'm going to have to water this side. Um, Bleeding heart is looking pretty bad. I'm not surprised. So when this dies down, I'm going to have to figure out what I want to put there. Probably just a pot to cover up that empty spot. Maybe I'll move that or... not sure. Again, I don't know what this hosta is if it's supposed to be cupped like this. This is the weirdest looking... I'm hoping that it's not a malformation. I'm thinking about planting something like maybe some pukras right in front here because these are vase shaped hostas and I think that kind of look neat. Maybe some caramel colored or rust colored ones just to 
not be so green. I don't know. I think this one is called Lollipop, but don't quote me, I'm not sure. This is really pretty. And my honeysuckle bush is starting to bloom. This is native to this area, so this is kind of neat. And I came back, so yay. This is a hard spot. Looks good. And then I knew it was dry because normally this area is just lush and full and huge. At one point, a lot of my snow in the mountain just was bent over. It was, I, I could tell it wasn't getting enough. And that says something, snow in the mountain. So it did bounce back after a rain. I have turtle head. You can see some of my hostas are poking through. Normally, you, you couldn't even see the hostas when this was, if you want to say in its prime. It all has flower heads. I will be chopping those down as soon as I can because I do not want them forming seeds. I do not need any more snow on the mountain. As you can see, I got a lot of scapees along with some creeping Charlie. <laughs> Another Japanese spike nard. A golden or what is it? Oh, I forget. But I love that color. Some hostas. Some smaller ones. I don't know this variety in here. The lambing kind of took over. It's too bad it was really blooming the other day, but I think the heat got to it. And this is a daylily. I hate that kind. I want to say that was gotten from in a ditch somewhere, roadside, where it's just... It's invasive. I've been pulling that ever since... I was leery, leery to get daylilies after that one because I'm not kidding, it took over this whole garden. You can see, it's still growing everywhere. I have some weeding to do, <laughs> don't mind that. Um, I had some spider wart back here that I thought was blooming. The wind took its toll on the Solomon seal, but all in all, it still looks good. There's some blooms. I got a lot of my garden art out, or I should say all of it, finally. Let's see here. Then the hookra. This is doing really good. It's a dappled willow. Lost some leaves. It's suffered a little bit from the transplanting, but keep that well watered and hopefully it bounces back. I don't think I've ever had my hookra flower. So this is amazing for me. Let's see. But I love frogs. You will see a lot of frogs in my garden. I'm just taking on this real quick. I like to place my garden art in amongst things so people really have to look when they come. My only gnome that I have is just hanging there. So yes, I love frogs, turtles, um, you know me, and I love metal. So I kind of have them placed here. I think I scared my sister the other day. She wasn't him. I was not expecting him. So that way just kind of little surprises. Not sure what I want to do there. It's kind of a bird feeder, but if I put seed in there, the seed gets all over. But if I have water in there, I just, I don't know, maybe make it uh, for butterflies. So yeah, so 
that's it for now. Just kind of ended up doing that with the mulch and the edging and everything on a really hot day. But I wanted to get it done. But all in all, looks good. And then I will keep you updated on things as they bloom. So, hopefully you like this video and I will talk to you later. Bye.